What is up, everyone? And we are back with another one by Boy and Pops. And as y'all can tell by the photo of the day, we are going to be talking about the most beautiful, sexiest Lincoln ever made. Yeah, this right here. That is soon to be coming out in 2026, when I'm 20 years old and still making YouTube videos. So, to prepare for those YouTube videos, I want y'all to do something for me. Uh-huh. I want you to click that button down below that says subscribe and buy your mother some tuna and a nice Christmas present, bro, so that you can see this smile on her face. I'm just kidding. But y'all know what to do. Let's get right into it, man. So, check it. I got my laptop here with me. And before we take a look at some of the specs, the pricing, and even if it's going to be released tonight, let's take a look at this video of what I mean by the design cues to this and those sexy lines, bro. Because I'm telling y'all, this is the most beautiful, sexiest Lincoln ever made, in my opinion. And y'all might agree with me. You might. Key word. Without further ado, let's check it out. I bet y'all know who made those tail lights. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. The aviator. But y'all couldn't guess that. I did for you. Boy, I tell you. Look up at the Lincoln Aviator. y'all but if y'all just notice how what the interior of this thing just showed it's crazy man this is unbelievable stuff lincoln has never done this kind of thing never done i mean they literally have lights coming from the floor i think i know what i'm gonna drive to the club y'all seen that last few seconds but they literally had the trunk open like a or well, the frunk open like a butterfly <laughs> and that's crazy man like i'm just remembering when i was a kid and the lincoln navigator came out in 2008 and now we have this this is crazy man this is only 2026 like whoa I'm speechless at that point, but let's talk about some of the specs in this thing. Um, so Lincoln is very shy on specs, as you might expect since they're not actually going to release the truck, but we can expect this thing to put out about 494 horsepower, which is the aviators, since I believe the aviator will share this chassis, and about 21 miles to range, and about 630 foot pounds of torque, yes. So as you guys can see, the A pillars and B pillars share a whole 3D print in the back passengers anyway for a more panoramic view so you can get in more natural light, which is just also crazy to me, man. I mean, no other car has that except for the Porsche Panorama and Lincoln Aviator, which we were just talking about. 
and the interior includes a lounge-like wraparound on the focus relaxation. And speaking of that, they actually have uh, two moods. So one is called the coastal morning mood and the evening chill, along with some ambient lights to help you out, in case you forgot how cool you are. So this truck has so many features, guys, that it's kind of hard to put into this video since we don't get to drive it yet. And nobody does, not even the Lincoln Inventors, as y'all can probably guess. But we're gonna try to do that in this video. Your boy and pops has got you, once again. The cabin tech plays an important role, of course, with a giant panoramic roof that even shares a screen with it, so you can let the, look at the screen while you're driving, as this truck does not have a steering wheel, which they say that it predict that most cars won't in the near future. Instead, we're just gonna be driving with, with these little remote control cars. <laughs> that we can just drive the car around in. It sounds crazy right now, but it's true. And with the much smaller control screen sitting underneath the rear passengers with their own display. And they actually have something else that they have uh, as a new feature called the Attach. With the Attach, like the Italian. Let me see the love in your eyes. And it's a briefcase concept that is hiding near the rear door and can wirelessly store devices. Now, can you imagine that, bro? You can't get that in your aviator. So, the star connects to the other vehicles in the city grids and promotes the driving parentals with the driving parking. So, it's basically a self-parking truck. Duh. So, guys, you may find this really hard to believe, but this truck is actually designed way back in 2021, a little after COVID was in. So, Lincoln is actually not in plan to build this truck, but it was just previewing a, a real product and Lincoln plans to launch EVs by 2026 and expects for half its sales to be electric. Think about that, half its sales, bro, half of it, and only models by the middle 2020s. So it previously echoed with the Ford with the plans to sell EVs by 2030. However, there aren't the most difficult factors to consider, and Lincoln's smaller range and weather climate can be easily readily affordable by EV persons. So, what you can take away from today's episode, guys, is that, ladies and gentlemen, I really have high hopes for this truck, and I really hope it comes out. God be blessed to come out, because Lincoln doesn't even plan to release the dang thing, as we mentioned in the video. But maybe somebody will take the step up and make it a West Coast custom and start a whole new controversy, like we seen 11 years ago. <laughs> but let me know down in the comments if you want this truck to come out, bro, and maybe if it can succeed the Lincoln Continental. Since they say they're going to be making SUVs EVs now, rather than uh, sedans or saloons and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. But, man, I'm hungry for some pizza. <laughs> Peace out.